Hello everyone. Thank you for tuning into our video. In this video, we will look at the RGB LED peak current control demo model included with the STM32 target support package. The demo uses the STM32 target support from Plexim to program a G474RE based discovery kit from STM. This discovery kit includes an onboard RGB LED module and buck converters. The controller independently regulates the current of each LED in the module using peak current control or PCC with burst mode operation. The STM32 target support library includes a peak current control component that automatically configures several microprocessor peripherals to achieve peak current control. A detailed description of the power stage in the controller and instructions to program the microprocessor are provided here. Let's open the demo model. The power circuit comprises of three inverted buck converters driving a high brightness RGB LED module. The RGB module is composed of three independent LEDs, red, green, and blue. The brightness of each LED in the module is proportional to the current through the diode. When the light of the three LEDs are combined in different proportions, we will observe new colors beyond those of the original red, blue, and green. In the simulation model, the LED load is represented by a nonlinear VI curve. The curve was obtained by measuring the values of forward current and forward voltage on the hardware. Double clicking on the buck red subsystem, we can see the inverted buck topology. The green and blue LED buck converters are identical to the red LED buck converter. Each LED's current is sensed via a sense resistor that is in series with the MOSFET switch. The sense resistor is then connected to the STM controller. Opening the controller subsystem shows the logic deployed to the STM32 hardware. The controller includes several components from the STM32 target support library, which are used to configure the associated hardware peripherals. The PCC component implements peak current control with slope compensation and is responsible for current regulation. The mode select subsystem generates the reference current for the PCC component. Joystick inputs of the discovery kit are read as digital input signals that are used to adjust the behavior of the model, such as enabling the PWM outputs and changing the brightness. Four signal LEDs are controlled using digital outputs. The signal LEDs are indicators displaying the mode of operation. The yellow frames enclosing the joystick inputs and the LED indicator logic configure the model to generate multitasking code. The logic associated with the joystick and the LED tasks execute 20 times and 1000 times slower than the base task. The base task includes the most time critical logic associated with the PCC and the mode select subsystem. In a peak current mode controller, at the beginning of each switching cycle, the gate signal is turned on. With the switch closed, the inductor current will increase. When the sensed inductor current exceeds the peak current reference value, the output is reset and the gate signal is turned off. The duty cycle is therefore determined by the rise of the inductor current during the on time. A drawback of the peak current mode controller is that it suffers from an inherent instability if the resulting PWM duty cycle is greater than 50%. If a small disturbance is introduced into the system, and if the duty cycle is less than 50%, the disturbance eventually decays to zero. However, if the duty cycle is greater than 50%, sustained subharmonic oscillations can occur. To avoid such oscillations, a ramp is added to the peak current reference. This ensures the disturbances are damped within one switching cycle. Double clicking the PCC component shows the component's settings. The switching frequency, the gain of the current sensing circuit, and the compensating ramp slope are entered in the component mask. A leading edge blanking time is included to prevent turn on transients from falsely triggering peak current detection. Each PCC block is associated with a high resolution timer unit, abbreviated as HRTIM. Each HRTIM unit 
can generate independent PWM signals on up to three PWM channels. Each channel has an associated sense input, which is connected to the current measurement sensor in series with the switch. The timing unit specifies the output channel where the PWM signal is generated. In this model, the mode select subsystem generates the peak current reference. The mode can be set to one of the three options. In RGB LED mode, the entire color spectrum is scanned. In white LED mode, the LED colors are mixed to obtain white, and then the brightness is scanned. In constant duty mode, each LED is set to a fixed duty cycle, delivering constant color and brightness. Burst mode operation is used to change the brightness without changing the color. In burst mode operation, the peak current set point for all the LEDs will toggle at 400 Hz. For part of the period, the current will be at the set point defined by the color mixture. The other part of the period, the current will be zero in all LEDs. By adjusting the relative duration of the current on and current off periods, the perceived brightness increases and decreases. Enabled subsystems are used to ensure only one control mode is active at a time. The logic to generate the color mixtures and burst current control is implemented in the subsystems using state machines and other components from the Plex library, such as comparators and triangular wave generators. Run the simulation model as provided to observe the LED and inductor currents, as well as the PWM waveforms. The measurements clearly show the burst mode behavior. The LED current shows alternative periods of zero and non-zero currents. The offline model also allows the user to emulate pushing joystick buttons. Note that the offline simulation may not reveal changing waveforms as the RGB color scanning and white LED mode brightness operate with long periods on the order of tens of seconds. In addition to running a simulation of this demo model in offline mode on a computer, the controller subsystem can be directly converted into target-specific code for the discovery board. Connect the MCU to the host computer through a USB cable. In the Coder Options dialog, the controller is already configured for the corresponding STM32 hardware. The discretization step size of the controller is set to 50 microseconds. After the code is deployed, press the center button of the joystick to enable the PWM outputs. The RGB LED should now scan the entire RGB color spectrum. It is possible to pause automatic scanning by pressing the left joystick key and resume automatic scanning by pressing the right joystick key. To increase or decrease the global RGB LED brightness, press the up or down joystick keys. Let's connect to the external mode to observe real-time waveforms on the MCU and to change certain parameters. Opening the iPeak reference scope, we can see the time-varying set points to iPeak, which results in color scanning. Changing the input to the mode select block from 1 to 2 switches the control mode from RGB LED to white LED mode. Similar to the RGB LED mode, it is possible to pause or resume automatic scanning or increase or decrease the global brightness of the LED in the white LED mode as well. This concludes the video on the RGB LED peak current control demo model. For more videos and further information, please visit our website at www.plexim.com. Thank you for watching.